Aunt Em in Dorset, Uncle Andrew in Edinburgh, and Father Christmas in, uh, well, wherever they are around the UK, Royal Mail will deliver my Christmas cards to them with their guaranteed six day a week service. Out in the country though, collecting and delivering is far more expensive than in our towns and cities. And Royal Mail claims there's some cherry picking going on. Unfair competition, it says, that's putting the universal service at risk. If you allow cherry picking in the urban areas, what happens is it siphons off very quickly a lot of revenue, more revenue than can be offset uh, by even very vigorous efficiency measures on Royal Mail's part. And it makes the universal service unfinanceable and uneconomic. That cherry picking Royal Mail claims is being done by companies like Whistle, with its posties pushing deliveries through letterboxes in places like London, Manchester and Liverpool. In big cities with short distances and plenty of business mail, it's much easier to make money. But Whistle says Royal Mail's problem is that it's missing its efficiency targets. That costs them at the midpoint 50 million plus a year, which if they did hit their own inter internal targets, that would more than compensate for any loss due to competition. I don't recognise Mr Wells' number. If you look at Royal Mail over the past several years, five, six years, there has been no greater modernization program undertaken by any company in Britain. The worry is that as competition grows, deliveries in rural areas might come under threat. But just last month, Ofcom ruled Royal Mail was wrong. The regulator said competition would provide an incentive for the company to become more efficient. So Royal Mail has called for a review of the universal service to be brought forward. For now, though, the regulator insists this pillar of our postal service is not under threat.